What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing some makeup stuff. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, this foundation nonsense and I'm going to dot it all over my face, make it look like I have some sort of disease. And uh, just when you thought that was how it was going to be, we're going to take this cool little paintbrush and blend it all in. And it's going to be a color, uh, you know, pretty much exactly like your skin. So there, you know, we have it nearly done. Next up, we're gonna take this little skin-colored pen here. That's what it looks like. So, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a, it's a paint marker, that's what it is. You just buy those at like at Walmart or something like that. You can use one of those. And we're gonna go with the, uh, the raccoon look, the reverse raccoon look. Instead of the black around the eyes like a raccoon is, we're going with white today. And, uh, but yeah, a little bit after that. Oh, oh, here comes SpongeBob. We're gonna blend all that in, yeah. We're gonna see not much of a difference here. It's just. Spongebob going to town on, you know, forehead and under the eyes. It's a shame because I really like the raccoon look there, but not today, fellas. Not today. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another paintbrush and we're going to get some powder on this one. Not your typical painting here. We're going to apply this to the cheekbones starting there. And then, you know what? We're just going to start throwing this all over the place. Forehead, your neck, your chin, all over the place, your cheeks, eyes. Let's just get it on there. Get it a nice healthy dose. And now we're going to turn our attention to the eyebrows. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts. Essentially, what I'm using is a glorified Sharpie. Um, I would recommend sometimes, if you need to, just hit up an Office Depot or a Staples, grab yourself a damn Sharpie, and call it a day. Just get them all in there. Just color those bad boys right in. Next up, we're going to channel our inner Bob Ross and really get to painting. We've got a nice palette full of colors here, but today it looks like we're going with a, a very light shade of pink. We're going to add a little bit of blush. That's what they call it, right? It's called blush. I'm such a pro. And now we're going to flip that paintbrush upside down. We're going to use this little spongy end and a couple different colors. Going to add some layers. Really, really make, uh, make it some, add some depth to the eyes. I don't know how good that would be on making a painting, but hey, it's a different kind of canvas we got here today. Get some eyelid action. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get that on there. Get it in there. Nice, nice all the way inside the eyelid. And now we're going to use this fine little brush. We're going to really accent the eyes. This is where the artistic ability really comes out. I think we're on layer 14, maybe 15 here on the eyes. But uh, this is where you add like Bob Ross's little bush and really pull the whole look together. All right, so here what you're gonna be doing is practically just giving yourself LASIK eye surgery, just minus the lasers and surgery, and uh, all it really does is curl your eyelashes. Now this next part is absolutely critical to a good look. You have to give the camera a cheeky face or two, get up close, check yourself out right before you add the finishing touches. So for the finishing touches, we are going to pull out this little cheeky brush here that is essentially nothing more than an eyelid eyelash comb. And boy, you just get the black in there, make your eyelashes nice and thick and black. And uh, you know what? That sums it up. That is the look, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's a cheeky face. There's another cheeky face. And I will see you in the next one.